we are going to discuss sensory words. We can read poetry selections for information, but also enjoyment. Poems often include sensory words or words that describe what we experience with our senses. Our senses are taste, hearing, sight, smell, and touch. So again, a sensory word describes something and how we use it, our senses. Let's take a look here at this poem. It's called The Bat. The bat goes out at end of day. It clicks and squeaks to find its way. It swishes past a silent moon, a frozen floating white balloon. The bat swoops through the air at night like a warm and furry kite. Let's take a look at these first two lines of the poem. The bat goes out at end of day. It clicks and squeaks to find its way. The words clicks and squeaks tell us what the bat sounds like. These words describe what we can almost hear. Let's look at line three and four now. It swishes past a silent moon, a frozen floating white balloon. What words tell us what the moon looks like? It looks like a white balloon. So then we can almost see what the moon looks like in the sky. Let's read lines five and six. The bat swoops through the air at night like a warm and furry kite. What words describe how the bat would feel? How would it feel to our touch? The one word is warm. When something is warm, you can feel that. You can touch something that's warm. How does, or how do they describe the bat so we can see it or almost see it? It looks like a kite in the air. So you can kind of picture how that might look in the air if you've seen a kite before. So those are lots of sensory words they use to help us picture what the bat looks like and sounds like and feels like. You will be reading a story today, or a poem, I should say. The poem is called When It's Snowing, and you want to look for other sensory words as you listen to this poem.